Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will present an algorithm to compute modular multiplication in the context of Galois field, say for example, GF of two power four. Okay, that means there are 16 polynomials. You wanted to multiply two polynomials like we did in the previous segment, but we would like to put a mod R of X afterwards, okay? For example, if A of X is X cubed plus X squared plus one, B of X is X squared plus X. If you multiply these two polynomials, you will get X power five, right? This is a fifth degree polynomial, but in Galois field made of two power four elements, uh, there are only polynomials of degree at most three. What we do in that case is we divide the multiplication by R of X and take the reminder. It's essentially same as computing modular arithmetic in set of numbers. We multiply two numbers and take mod to get the answer within the set. One thing I would like to clarify before going to the algorithm is if you take this example, R of X is what we are going to use as a reduced polynomial, X power four plus X plus one. Since plus and minus are same in Galois field, um, I can rewrite this as X power four is same as R of X plus X plus one, okay? Uh, which means if I apply R of X mod on both sides, uh, this R of X will go away. So you're left with the X plus one as a reminder. Okay, so that means the highest degree term is actually congruent to the remaining terms mod R of X. So this is an important fact we will leverage for the construction of an algorithm that computes A of X times B of X in mod R of X, okay? So here is an idea. And um, this is pretty similar to whatever we discussed earlier. We take the polynomial A, we look at the least significant bit. In this case, the least significant is bit is set, right? And see, because it's ending with one. So if I were to write it in bit pattern, it will be this polynomial is nothing but third position is set, second position is set, first position is not set, and zeroth position is set. This is the bit representation for the second polynomial, okay? So what we do is we look at the least significant bit of A, Okay, it is set. That means we take all the bits of B. That means we take the entire polynomial because one times anything is that anything that you're multiplying. So one times X squared plus X will be X squared plus X. Okay. And then what we do, we right shift one position in A. Okay, that means we are dividing each term of A by X. That is the meaning of right shift by one position. Okay, so let me, let me just uh, draw the intermediate state now. So we took the least significant bit of A and we checked uh, it is turned on. That means our current multiplication will be just X squared plus X because one times X squared plus X is X squared plus X, okay? So I, I'll just keep writing it here um, so you can see where I am currently. So my current result will be X squared plus X, okay? Let me call this as a C of X. No modular arithmetic has been applied yet, right? What do I do next? I take my A and right shift it by one position as we did in the previous segment. So my new A will be, this one will go away. This zero will come here. So this one will come here, this one will come here. That means same as X squared plus X. Okay, it makes sense. And what about the B? We do left shift by one position, okay? That means this B will become X cubed plus X square. But in the case of B, we are doing left shift. That means the degree is increasing by one. When the polynomial degree is increasing, you may get out of the GF of uh, two, two power four. Okay, so at this point, it's okay because X power three is still within the field. So we can look at the bit pattern now. We see here, this is nothing but zero, right? One, one, zero. So and then this is just uh, same as one, one, zero, zero, right? And then we look at the bit pattern of A, we see it's ending with zero, so we don't do anything. Remember when it's ending with zero, that means you should not do a multiplication. That particular term is not there. There's a plus zero. That's essentially the meaning of this ending with zero means. Okay, so we look at the polynomial A, it is ending with zero, so we don't do any multiplication. Uh, we go to the Next phase where we do right shift by one more position. So it means the polynomial degree will go down. So you have X plus one, X power four plus X cube because we are left shifting by one position. Okay. And now we have a problem because this is fourth degree. But we learned that we can replace the fourth degree by just the remaining terms in our polynomial R of X. 
which means it's enough to add the current V of X with R of X. The X power four, X power four will cancel out because of the lower field. So we will have, if you take the current B and check the degree, if the degree is greater than or equal to the degree of R of X, we can just add the B of X with R of X. So you are left with just X cube plus X plus one, okay? Because X power four is just same as X plus one, all right? Which means in terms of bit pattern, we have a new B of X, right? With this pattern, pattern is simple. It will be one, zero, one, one. This is the new pattern. But now you look at A, which ends with one. Therefore, we have to take all of the Bs and add it to your C. C is the sort of the accumulator to accumulate the results. So you have X cubed plus X plus one, but then you'll have to cancel out this X and X in Galois field. So you are now left with X square plus X plus one, okay. And then you continue one more step for A. You do one more right shift. This becomes how to codify this in Python, for example. You have numbers A, B, R. A is the polynomial, A, B is the second polynomial, R is the polynomial you would like to reduce. And uh, first you make sure that A and the B are already reduced. This, this is basic property of modular arithmetic. In case A and the B are already more than R, you first want to reduce it and compute the degree of the R, R polynomial, okay, the polynomial R. And uh, similar to the regular multiplication, you continue the while loop until your A becomes zero. You check the least significant bit of A. If it is one, uh, you add it with the B and the result is your accumulator on the whiteboard, I call it C. And then you right shift, right shift A by one position, that means degree of X will go down. Right shift, uh, left shift B by one, that means the degree of B will go up. So that means you can, do the multiplication without having any incorrect results. But the problem is you, your degree of B may be out of the Galois field. So in that case, you need to add it with your R. That's exactly what I shown on the whiteboard. You update your B by adding it with the R, which means the highest degree polynomial term will cancel out. And then you continue this process until all the bits of A are taken care of. So the result is the accumulator that you're returning to the caller. So now I'll show you my implementation uh, with a small demo, what I'm going to do is go to the Python and uh, set up the polynomial that we have used on the whiteboard and show to you that it is indeed working. Okay, so from my utils, what are the things I have? I have three polynomials, A, B, and R. And I will be setting up my first polynomial is uh, nothing but X cubed plus X squared plus one. So X cube plus, oh, X cube, yeah, here, right. X cube plus X square plus one means the zeroth position. Okay. And then for B, it is just uh, X square plus X, okay. And what about the polynomial R, the reduced polynomial? The polynomial that will be used for reduction is x power four, right? Fourth position, and then first position x power four plus x plus one, okay? And then zeroth position. Now we will see whether the Galois field modular multiplication will give us x cube. Ah, you got eight. If you look at the binary representation of eight in Python, you will get you see here one zero zero, which is the polynomial x cube. Okay. That's pretty much it.